Ken Surf's here, and it's time for another video. You know, I, you have requested this, uh, several of you, and I've just been ignoring it, uh, not because I'm ignoring you, but because I knew this was going to be kind of a difficult decision. You would ask, what is my best three items of the year 2019? And... <laughs> It's hard for me to screen out uh, ones uh, that, that I liked better than others because, uh, quite frankly, there's more than three soaps that I like and there's more than three razors that I like. But I tried to narrow them down. So for the last few hours, luckily I have the day off, I've been going through the items and trying to think, these are the three items that I used for the first time in 2019 that I like the best. So... Uh, I'm going to do that video due to your requests, but I tell you, it was difficult for me because there's a lot of items that I used this year uh, <laughs> that came from 18 and 17 and 16, but uh, especially with the blades. The blades, I have no new blades for this year, but I'm going to show you the three most used blades that I do. In fact, we'll start off with that. So the three blades that I have used the most in 2019, and not necessarily in the videos that you see, but uh, I do shave a couple of times a week that is not on camera. So these are the three blades, the Feather, the Voshad, and the Wilkinson Sword Gillette from India. Those are the three DE blades that I have used the most this year. Now, brushes <laughs> was another another difficult one. Of course, I could be showing you, you know, the latest, you know, the winter surf, Ken Surf's winter edition, but I do have one of them, one of the brushes that uses my name in, in the top three. But going back uh, to one of the earliest ones that I've used uh, this year, one year ago, and a few, several times since, is from uh, Rich Man Shaving. Now, this brush is just, in my opinion, amazing. It's got, the handle is huge. The handle is bigger than the uh, the knot. So it's a really, this is the innovator. So uh, I have used this several times this year and I really, really, really like this brush. And then uh, these are in no particular order. All three of these brushes are tied equal. Not one better than another, but just ones that I really thought were, you know, just just cool this year from uh, my friend Neil, who has a uh, heritage shaving or heritage collection shaving, this brush. I got this, uh, oh, it was about six months ago and I've restored Ever Ready's. You know, you've seen me, uh, you've seen me use uh, the Ever Ready brushes and, and I've worked on a lot of the handles and I've restored them because I really like the look of the Ever Ready brushes. But this gent actually recreated brand new ones that just look fantastic. And he's got a whole, when this came out, he was doing it kind of one here and one there, but now he's got a huge collection. And uh, I just like the look of that. Two green brushes, go figure. Oh no. Now that I think about it, the third brush, <laughs> the Ken's her summer brush has also got green in it. So for some reason, I really like the green brushes. Uh, and this was the first one that I actually got to work with the manufacturer and pick some color schemes. And I was really happy with this brush. Uh, usually they do all the work for me, but they listen to my input. And this just kind of reminded me of Surf City and the beach and the water. Uh, of course, I wish my water looked like that out here in the Pacific, but you have to go a little further into the ocean out to Hawaii to see it this clear. Well, actually, Catalina, 28 miles or 23 miles off the coast, the water starts to go clear, but not on the coast of Southern California. But uh, that is the third brush that uh, I, I really like this year. Now, soaps, uh, man, again, so many cool soaps. So many cool soaps from like Phoenix Artisans, uh, from West Coast Shaving, from, from, you know, just there's so many I, to pick the top three that, I, that, I, that stick in my mind. That, that I use probably the most. The first one comes from the Sudsy Soapery, and it's Blizzard. And I like this because it's got, it's got the same, I wanna say, um, eye-watering scent as like Pro Rosso Pre-Shave. 
this just really opens your eyes. Wow, it's gonna it's uh, gonna start my eyes watering. This is a powerful soap. This Blizzard, I really have enjoyed using this, and it's still. All these items are still actually here in the shaved end. I ran out of room, so I actually have a cool bar. My dad's old bar is in my uh, uh, game room with my pinball machine. So I have plastic containers with all of the uh, overflow, let's say, that they won't fit on the shelves in here that I, I go and I pull stuff out of and use. But uh, these usually stay in here because I use them so often. Second soap. Oh, Black Ship Grooming Tortuga. Now, it was a tie. I, I liked this, and I like Siren Song, but this one really just, it's just so fresh. And uh, let's see, it, it's got florals, lemons, mango. That's what I smell the most. Ozone, amber, uh, combined for an after-storm scent. Just really, really a, a Good smelling soap. And another th another thing, not the razor blades or not the razors or not the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, well, brushes necessarily, but my wife has a lot of input on some of these soaps. She says, oh, I don't like that one or I like that one. So these actually met with her uh, stamp of approval. Now, the third soap, I just thought it was pretty damn cool, uh, from Panta Ray. Uh, this just from Italy, Pantare. I mean, just the delivery of it. Ga is it Gap uh, Gattapardo? I think it's leopard. I think that's Italian for leopard. And this just comes in a cool jar. Just got an awesome, awesome scent. I really like this. In fact, I I, I really like the aftershave too, uh, but. I had to, I, you know, I didn't want to have the same soap and the same aftershave in there. There we go. It wasn't me, okay? There's your uh, automatic air freshener. Just send a whiff out. But I really, really like this uh, Panta Ray. Uh, surprisingly, it came very quick from Italy. Sometimes I order stuff from across the United States, and it takes weeks. Sometimes I order from Canada. It takes months. Italy came very quick. So I was very happy with that. So there we go with the soaps. I'm gonna go with the aftershaves too. And again, these are ones that I just find myself using a lot. I'm gonna give a runner up because the runner up, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to include the runner up because it, I used this over a year ago, but I use this stuff a lot. The vintage green polo is the fourth runner up. I've been using that quite often. And Probably tied with that is Captain's Choice Venture because it smells like the Creed. And I don't use the Creed too often because uh, crap's too expensive, man. But uh, Venture actually smells like that. So those are two good scents that are that are runners up in these. But uh, from West Coast Shaving, grapefruit. I really, I really like this scent. This came out around the summer and it was a big hit with my wife. Big hit. She really enjoyed that. And uh, it... it I think they still make it. I don't think it was a limited run, but it's just got a really, really pleasant smell, and I really do enjoy that. Now, I had used a sampler. Do I have the sampler here? I had got like a, a mini sample of this, you know, like a year ago. It wasn't this, this is tobacco, but I got a mini sample of Cat O' Nine Tails. But this year, I actually got the bottle. And this stuff, man, I like a burn. And this Cat O' Nine Tails, oh, it smells Oh, very, oh, very, 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 very good. And it, 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 it'll give you a burn like uh, there's no tomorrow. It, yeah, feel the burn. Yeah, no kidding. This stuff is great. And it's been one of my go-to. This is my second bottle of this size that I went through. So I do, I really enjoy that. And then from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, I, I like Bay Rum. Uh, they came out with a presentation bottle, and, and this thing is just, it's got a very good Bay Rum scent. It lasts for a long, long time, and, you know, the presentation bottle is just awesome, too. I keep it up on the shelf behind me, just out of view. Let's see if you can even see when I... Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, you see it. So, I do keep that up there. It, it well, Actually, sometimes I keep it further to the left. You're, uh, you're right. But uh, 
<sighs> love that. Love that. And yet there are other there are other scents like the uh, the the small batch shave tonic. I mean, I use this stuff too. I mean, there there are some good runners up. It's hard to pick three, guys. You put me on the spot. All right, when it comes to razors, there's actually five that I really liked this year. And I've picked three of them, but the other two are just pretty much tied in there. But uh, the reason, probably the most important news to me in the wet shaving community in 2019 was Gillette getting back into the game with a razor, the Heritage razor. Now, the reason this is not in my top three, but a tied, tied, you know, maybe, you know, in, in the four is because it's not really a hundred percent Gillette. And I understand, we understand that they want to do a test market. So they're using a Mula head, I believe it is made in Germany, with a uh, uh, made in the United States, the handle made in the United States. It, it is pretty cool, but because it's not a complete Gillette, I'm going to just have to say that uh, it's it's tied for uh, my fourth favorite razor. It's a runner-up, but certainly the biggest news, because if Gillette's getting back into the razor game and they're going to start firing up some factories and making uh, Gillette razors again, that's great for me. Uh, but it's keeping it out of my top three just because it's not a pure collaboration. Now, another razor that's tied in the runner-up category comes from Global Shave Club, and I think it's just awesome. It's the JFK replica. It's basically a gold-plated tech. comes in a really nice tin. It's fantastic. The only reason this isn't in my top three is I haven't got much use out of this yet because my son saw it, liked it, and took it, and he's been using it which, you know, to me is a good news. I'm getting him back into the wet shaving game a little bit. Doesn't use it all the time, but he really liked the look of that, and I like the look of that, and I should bring it back into the shave den and get more uses. So those are two runners up. So now let's look at the three razors that I have used or, you know, think that my best of 2019. Here we go. This was actually a gift, and I use it a lot, and I think it's super cool. It comes from Razor Rock. Uh, it wasn't a gift from Razor Rock, but... It's made by Razor Rock, Italian barber, and it is the Green Hawk razor. I have the uh, Black Hawk somewhere, but uh, this Green Hawk single edge is just pretty darn cool. And again, probably because of green. Who knew? I didn't realize this, but you know, almost all of those shaving brushes had green in it, and they're all my favorites. So who knew? Who knew? All right. The second razor uh, comes from Russia from home-like shaving, and I've really been enjoying the Start Razor. And I've really been enjoying all the different uh, razor heads on this. Now, I also use my Rockwell 6S, but that I had for a couple of years. This one, I just got this year, and I find myself using it quite a bit. Last but not least, really cool, from Edwin Jagger the 316 razor. I was lucky enough to meet the representative at the Big Shave Southwest, and she actually had one of these for me a month or so before they were to be uh, released for sale, and she wanted my opinion. And I tell you, this just was fantastic. And it was a hard decision. Blue handle or red handle? It was a very hard decision. And thinking back on it now, I might have to get a red handled one just for the hell of it. But uh, those are the three razors. So there you go. Those are my best that I use the most often in 2019. Y'all might disagree with me, but uh, that that's just the ones that, that I had to pick. Now, I've got some new scents that are coming out, and I will try them soon. That, uh, that like that uh, Sauvage, just, you know, that after that cologne is just awesome. But I haven't really done a shave video with it yet. So who knows? That might be in the best of 2020. All right, everybody. No shave today, but just to recap, trying to answer all the requests. It is tough trying to answer all of them. And uh, thank
thank you for asking for that, uh, the best of 2019. And I hope that kind of helps you out a little bit or satisfies your questions or your request. All right, guys, thank you so much. I've rented some DVDs to watch tonight. Uh, it's going to be very, very mellow the day after Christmas. It's very mellow here in the Ken Surf's house. Uh, no relatives. My son has strep throat. He's at the doctor. He's got antibiotics. So hopefully that doesn't go around. And you'll hear me talking like this in my next video. <coughs> oh man, I don't even want to. Don't even want to think about that. All right, guys. Until next time. Have a great night.